assalamu alaikum everyone uh, i hope you all are doing well today we are going to talk about infectious diseases in plants and animals so today we are going to learn about what is a disease symptoms of diseases what are infectious diseases and how they spread how to get safe from the diseases and vaccination now observe these two children what changes can you notice in them now let's observe these two plants what changes can you notice in them oh you're right so two the child and a plant they were healthy and there was a child and a plant they were sick now how do we get sick a person or a plant gets sick when they get any disease so you must be thinking what's a disease so disease is basically a change that disturb the normal functioning of the body's system some examples of diseases in human are cancer flu diarrhea malaria measles chickenpox uh, plants get diseases too like rust blight mildew black spot etc and the animals they also get diseases like cows cats and sheep they got rabies and there are many other diseases now how do scientists identify that some person is suffering from any disease scientists identify the disease the living thing has by observing different signs or changes that occur in their bodies these signs are called symptoms some symptoms for humans are bloating nausea fatigue diarrhea weight loss stomach pain headaches and there are many symptoms which we can see in the plants too which can tell us that the plant is having any kind of disease like mosaic yellow leaves and uh, ring spots on the plants or flowers or fruits now let's talk about some infectious and non infectious diseases Uh, there are some diseases which do not spread from one person to another person or one plant to another plant these are classified as non infectious diseases like cancer diabetes or heart disease it but there are many diseases which can spread from one person to another person or one plant to another plant these are called infectious diseases These diseases are caused by viruses, bacteria and many other pathogens. Infectious diseases can be very dangerous because they infect a large number of people or plants. Now to understand an infectious diseases and how do they spread, let's take an example from a plant site. We are going to talk about black spot. It is a disease, a common fungal disease of roses. it can spread quickly from one plant to another plant because plants grow very close together now farmer need special scientist to help them cure plant diseases now let's talk about uh, covid-19 which you all know about that is also an infectious disease this is caused by a virus the virus comes out of an infected person's body when he or she coughs or sneezes these germs then spread around in the air and also sit on the things around us they can easily be transmitted to other people when they breathe the air with virus when people touch the things which has the virus on them and then touch their eyes ears or mouth they enter in the virus enter in their body now it's very important to be safe from those infectious diseases so you have to be careful about a few things so you need to stay home if you are feeling sick avoid crowded indoor spaces stay at least 6 feet apart from others wear a mask on your no over your nose and mouth wash your hands with soap and use the hand sanitizers by following these precautions you can get safe from many infectious diseases there is another way to get safe from those infectious diseases which is getting vaccinated 
a vaccine helps our body fight off the diseases a vaccine basically has some weakened germs of the disease which are injected in your body they don't make you sick but teach your immune system how to fight with these germs our body get immune to this disease after getting vaccinated i hope you guys will be careful and take care of yourself now it's time for you to be a scientist you have to search about some infectious diseases of plants animals and humans find their symptoms and ways to stop them from spreading make your own booklet powerpoint presentation and share it with your classmates i hope you all will be doing this allah hafiz